Hi guys, Adam McCubbin here. Today I'm gonna to take you through some simple tips and tricks how to get more out of each exercise and your training programs. It should come as no surprise that if you have mental intentions, goals and targets with specifics in mind, you're going to move closer to the results that you're after. If you walk into the gym with no intention around moving the weight or executing the exercise, you're probably not going to execute it to the full potential and yield greater results. If you're looking to improve your strength, this intent around lifting, whether it's a bench press, a squat, or a deadlift, knowing when to try and build the tension and then trying to execute as quick as possible will actually produce favorable results. Building up tension, like in a bow and arrow, so for example, when you lower the weight in a bench press, when you take the weight down, you are trying to build up that, that tension in your body, not only in your arms, but in through, in through your whole entire body. And then when it gets to the, to the base of the lift, you are trying to let go of that bow and arrow and move it as quickly as possible. So it's the intention of lifting fast will actually elicit more motor units you recruit far more muscle and by, by end results, you will actually lift more weight. So simply engaging your mind with the exercise at hand, knowing how to biomechanically actually execute the exercise, so assuming you know how to do that. Once you know that and you know how to build tension and then release is the key to lifting heavier and producing more results. A recent study got two groups of men and they gave one group, which is a control group, no instructions around executing a bench press and the intent of speed and, and how much force to exert. And the second group, they gave information and, and cues such as to, to push the bar as fast as they possibly could. And it was done over, I think it was six or eight weeks. And it, the results from the study showed that the, the group that was given instructions about lifting intention and to, to push a little bit faster yielded a 10% greater results with uh, lifting performance in the actual bench press. Mental intention doesn't just relate to, to strength performance as well. It also relates to hypertrophy and skill-based sports, sports as well. It has been known for years and years in the bodybuilding communities that the mind-muscle mu connection exists and the actual intention around the muscle group that you're working to actually mentally engage in that and trying to squeeze the muscle has proven over, over years that you can engage more motor units and get more of a muscle contraction. Therefore, you're going to get greater results in terms of hypertrophy. And this reminds me of a story of one of my friends was training with a high level bodybuilder when I, we were much younger. And the bodybuilder was sending my friend messages which I thought were amusing, telling him to, to mentally rehearse the workout and to start talking to his muscles and to prime his, his, his mind for the workout that, were, that they were going to do that evening. Now, I thought at the time, I thought it was a bit crazy and the bodybuilder sort of bodybuilder had lost his marbles. But looking back on it, that mental imagery and that rehearsal is, is not only priming the nervous system, but actually getting, getting the body and in a peak state for that workout that they were going to do. Factoring in arousal levels can also be very beneficial for your strength training programs as well. And knowing your personality type and what is going to get you aroused is, is an actual key and a skill in itself. Not everyone needs to be super revved up before they perform each of the exercises. It's really dependent on the individual. And the only way you're going to learn that is by practicing, but using things like music and mental rehearsals as well can get you more aroused for the actual exercise and program at hand. In summary, don't overlook mindsets, lifting intentions, and mental rehearsal. This can often be the cheapest yet most effective way to increase performance when it comes to strength, hypertrophy, and just overall results. If you've enjoyed this video, I'll put a link below to my YouTube channel where I've got more of these videos and explanations on training programs, nutrition, 
and mindset as well. I hope you've enjoyed it and look forward to speaking to you all soon.